What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about BitNile Holdings. Once again, that's BitNile Holdings with ticker symbol N-I-L-E. By the time of this recording, it's currently 0.6470. It's currently down with a negative 1.04% but it's up in the after hours at 0.6501 which is 0.48%. Guys, if you like the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. So, yesterday guys, uh, we have actually seen uh, Todd Milton Alt the third uh, busy uh, giving us a video regarding the installation of the Bitcoin miners that uh, they just received from Bitmain. And uh, if you go to your, the uh, inv into their website and you go to your, their news releases, uh, they have actually posted a, a news release that was yesterday, April 5th. I'm sorry if I wasn't able to upload a video regarding BitNAL Holdings yesterday, uh, but uh, here we go. BitNAL Holdings issues update of uh, update that company has invested a total of 127 million dollars on data center and bitcoin miners so as you can see uh todd milton alt is currently focused in uh in uh the the, 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 the cryptocurrency world and uh, his uh, main focus is currently bitcoin and each time that he tweets every day he would tweet about the price of bitcoin whether it's up whether it's down um he always tells us that every day they have at least one Bitcoin mine per day, which is, uh, uh, you know, um, the, the price of uh, around $44,000. As we go through the article, it says here that uh, BitNile Holdings, a diversified holding company, announced uh, yesterday that the company has invested a total of $127 million in its Bitcoin mining operations at its Michigan data center, including $114.7 million in the purchase of Bitcoin miners from Bitmain Technologies, which is currently known as Bitmain. Like I said, guys, these are the guy this uh, this company are the guys responsible in making this and miners uh, 12.3 12 million dollars for the purchase of a data center and infrastructure improvements but the data center itself is already paid off this is uh, an update of the company's previous press release dated between november 10 2021 and november 18 2021 which initially announced a partnership between bitnile and bitmain with the recently announced payment in full of $66 million in secure secure debt, other than the loans of the company portfolio of hotels, which are, are non-recourse to the parent company, the company is virtually debt-free. With the company's recent improvement in its financial conditions, it anticipates that over time, it will invest up to an additional of $70 million to $80 million in Bitcoin miners and infrastructure improvements. The company recently issued its monthly operations report for March 2022, indicating that it has more than doubled its miner count to 4,754S19J Pro and miners in its possession, which once installed is expected to generate a combined processing power of approximately 500 petahashes per second, a, compu a computational power that is issued to mine Bitcoin. During the month of March 2022, Bit BitNile mined 31.7 Bitcoin. So we're currently waiting for the information for this April and we are still on the 6th day of April as of this recording. Um, uh, once we get the report for April, I think we'll have uh, better news. The date, BitNile has mined a total of 132.6 Bitcoins. Milton Todd Alt, the company's executive, ch uh, st uh, executive chairman, stated, We are on schedule with our delivery of Bitcoin miners and the build-out of our data center. Given our recent payoff of debt and improvement of our financial condition, we anticipate our efforts to continue smoothly, including the funding of our additional investment in Bitcoin miners and data center. As previously disclosed, BitNile has entered into purchase agreements uh, with the Bitmain for a total of 20,600 Bitcoin miners, including 4,600 environmentally friendly S19 XP and miners. So like I said, so these are, uh, like I said before, these are the more advanced, um, uh, the most advanced uh, models of ant miners. Back in the days when I used to mine Bitcoin, I only have the S9s and uh, I am not really sure if the features of that is environmentally friendly, but I'm pretty sure it costs me a lot of electricity at that time. S19X miners that feature a power pricing of 140 terahashes per second and uh, 16,000 S19J Pro ant miners that feature a processing power of 100 terahashes per second. So, BitNile began receiving 300 S19J Pro ant miners per month in November 2021 in accordance with a purchase agreement with Bitmain. Beginning in March 2022, this schedule increased to unexpected 2300, 2300 miners per month. 
Once all 20,600 miners are fully deployed and operational, Bitnal is expected to achieve mining production capacity of approximately 2.24 exahashes per second. The company notes that all estimates and other projections are subject to the actual delivery and installation of Bitcoin miners, the volatility in Bitcoin market price, the fluctuation in the mining difficulty level, and other factors that may impact the results of production of operations. So guys, that was re this report was uh, actually released yesterday. I, like I said, I'd like to apologize if I haven't read you guys this report. But uh, for me, uh, with, the sentiment, with the sentiment of this report, this report is very bullish because you are mining one Bitcoin per day, which is um, adding to, uh, you know, to, uh, which adds to additional uh, catalyst, right? Uh, month after month with uh, BitNile holdings. With me as a BitNile, uh, with a Nile stock, as a Nile stock holder, I think this is, uh, uh, for, for me, a uh, prices of uh, uh, 0 0.6632 uh, uh, I think the, this price is very very juicy okay so uh, what do we have with uh, Bitnal holdings ahead of the trading days tomorrow will be Thursday so we would like to see uh, where our stock will go okay so if we focus on the five minute chart we can see that we have gained support at 0 0.6049 uh, with a resistance of 0 0.6996. Our uh, BWAP is right under your 50 MA and uh, 90 MA, which tells us that the stock is in a bullish upward momentum. Okay, so currently our volume is uh, a little bit higher than uh, a little bit higher, so it's currently uh, 64.88 uh, million. Um, <clears throat> Let me see, our average volume is only 19.14 million. Okay, so if we uh, go to your 15 minute time frame, uh, still, as you can see here, um, the uh, BWAP is uh, right under your 50 EMA. Um, if uh, the, the BWAP crosses uh, your uh, 50 EMA, uh, we can get uh, a movement to the upwards. If we zoom out to your uh, daily time frame, um, we can see here that the stochastics is cooling off, but your RSI is still in upwards momentum. Okay. Uh, if we uh, zoom out, uh, if you guys can remember, we have that huge upside swing. Uh, it looks to me that we're just trying to retrace and is trying to fill the gap. But eventually, like I said, I have uh, I am very bullish in this stock, and I am looking to still on uh, keep on. Um, keeping on accumulating and re-establishing my position because I strongly think that investing in this stock, this is just my opinion, is um, uh, is a good investment, okay? So ahead of uh, the weeks, as you can see here, your stochastics is still in upwards momentum with the blue uh, right on top of the brown, which means that and uh, we are not even uh, oversold and we are not overbought. Uh, that tells me that the stock has a, uh, has a huge swing to the upside. Guys, if you like the information and analysis that I, provide, that I have provided for you in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Once again, this is your boy, Don Leo Trades. I love you all. Peace out.